Hello there everybody, Peter of England here bringing you a much awaited update, I'm sure, on the uh, status of Freeman Legal Services, Weir Bank and the Seven Sisters uh, class action lawsuit. Now, um, as far as Freeman Legal Services is concerned, um, many of you will be happy to know that throughout the month of November, um, Freeman Legal Services is representing two clients. Um, it's going to be in Glasgow and Edinburgh uh, on two cases or two um, uh, hearings uh, or attendances as we probably better call them. One for a mortgage repossession and the other one for uh, a bankruptcy case. So these uh, are very important um, cases because what we're doing is going into the court representing these individuals under our um, should we say common law right to an audience. Um, this is going contrary to what the, uh, um, the statutory requirements are invariably of what's called the private bar guilds, that's the Law Society and the Bar Council for England and Wales particularly or its equivalent in Scotland who insist that no one has an attendance or an audience in the court unless they are a registered member of one of those societies. We say that time is finished, we can go in and practice uncommon law, maybe we could put it like that. And that's what we're doing. So, um, first case is on the uh, 6th of November, the other one will be later in the month uh, of November. So why I'm mentioning this to you is that I will do, be doing quite a little bit of travelling through the month of November in the United Kingdom. And so on the 4th, which is Monday I believe, I'll be actually putting a telephone number on this um, YouTube video. That will be a mobile number, and so anyone in the UK who can possibly get a few people together who might be interested in um, listening to what I might, or not might, but I have to say concerning um, these appearances in court and the proceeds and the, the track we take, so that you might engage us or use us later, or maybe practice some of these things for yourself, then please get in touch on that telephone number and I will be more than happy to come down to talk to you or your group um, as long as my accommodation is taken care of and my travelling expenses. Um, so on that one, thank you. Next one, Weir Bank. Weir Bank, um, oh, and just on that the documents that we will be using in the court, um, as you can see, quite a lot of them. However, it all boils down to a very, very easy, um, shall we say, um, detour for the judge and the, the uh, private bar guild council members uh, to be made to take, whereby we actually stop the process at quite an early uh, juncture. Okay, so let's get on now to Weir Bank. Uh, Weir Bank, um, checkbooks, that's what people are looking for and this is what we are looking to put together. So we have here uh, an example of some checks that will be being put together. They'll be done by security printers so they are quite a, a reasonable level of uh, security encryption. Uh, we'll also be putting the promissory notebooks uh, together and more details will be made available to people who have joined Weir Bank. Um, so that's something to look forward to. Uh, we are also interested in advertising Weir Bank on the People's uh, Voice. That's um, David Icke's new TV station due to launch on November the 18th. To that effect, uh, we may be very happy or interested to anyone who might wish to um, forward or help forward our campaign we will need uh, probably a few hundred pounds a month if we're going to advertise uh, on that station. Um, so David Icke's uh, end would be very happy to have, have us and uh, I think it would be a great thing for us to be able to launch on that station on the 18th. But we'll need uh, a bit of money to do that. And for now, yes, I know people say, well, why don't you use the promissory notes to do it? Yeah, um, that's all well and good, but for now maybe David Icke doesn't want to accept those. We'll see. Um, finally, the Seven Sisters um, class action lawsuit. Uh, we've had a turn down from several um, uh, law firms. So what we're doing is we're proceeding and processing that now through the Common Law Court of Record.
record 750181 and we're going to do that ourselves. So uh, watch out for update through November. It's going to be a very interesting month. Thank you. Don't forget to subscribe and circulate this as best you can. Bye for now.